Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today we're going to talk about what happens when you put the miracle cleaner in the back of your toilet tank right there. And you all, if you're asking yourself why would I be putting stuff in the back of that toilet tank right there, if you've lived most of your adult life and have never cleaned the inside of your toilet tank, have no fear, I was in your same shoes. But it's very important that you clean the back of that because it impacts what goes down into the toilet bowl. We're going to get into all this here in a second, but I lifted this tank. I cleaned this one, I don't know, uh, three, four months ago. Look at how nice it's looking. I mean, this one was really, really nasty. So I cleaned it once. It's looking great. That's awesome. I don't think it had ever been cleaned. And we bought this house two years ago. What did I use? Citric acid. This is wonderful for cleaning the back. But this Miracle Cleaner right here, I think, does an even better job. What is the Miracle Cleaner, you ask? Well, my friend, it is a combination of vinegar, water, and Dawn dish soap. I made an entire video on this, tested it out. It did not work on my brushed nickel faucets, but everywhere else in my shower, it worked. But it also works really well. Why? Because this is acidic, it breaks things down, and this is an excellent degreaser, which breaks down all the mineral deposits and all the other minerals and disgustingness that's floating inside your tank. Now, because we're a little extra over here, this is not Dawn Power Wash. I did make a whole video on this. I love this because of this foam action right here, but inside of here is actually the Miracle Cleaner. Why is it called the Miracle Cleaner? I have no idea, but it really is sort of a Miracle Cleaner, depending upon the sort of surface that you're cleaning. So citric acid aside, I have this link below if you're wondering um, where to find this. And this right here works amazing because it's bendable and you can get it all in those nooks and crannies. Get yourself some gloves, you're gonna want that. I like to show you several different ways to do things. I've done this with vinegar. We're gonna talk about some of the things to watch out for when it comes to vinegar back in here in your toilet tank. Plumbers usually don't recommend it. Um, you can turn your water off and drain the tank. I don't prefer that. Like I don't like messing with the water and everything that's going on in here. So what I'm gonna show you is how to actually clean this just as it is. Now, you can directly just take some vinegar. I would say about a cup, you're gonna pour it into the tank right here. And as far as the amount of Dawn dish soap, well, it depends upon how dirty your tank is, but I would say about a tablespoon or just a little less than a tablespoon right here. If you don't want to do that method, you can make your very own concoction right here. Again, this is not the power wash, but it is the Miracle Cleaner. I put vinegar in here and I've also put Dawn dish soap. So I did an equal ratio of vinegar, water, and about a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. So this is what I'm going to use here today. I'm going to spray it in the back of my tank. Of course, it's looking amazing and beautiful already. Yours probably will not if you're watching this video right here or if you want to keep and maintain yours as mine is. And you're going to scrub just so, so lightly and mix everything around along the sides, depending upon how dirty and disgusting everything is. If it's really bad, I would let that vinegar sit for about 15 to 30 minutes. The less time the vinegar sits in here, the better. Plumbers will tell you that that vinegar can start to break down the valves that are housed inside of the tank right here. So you're going to give it a really good scrub. This is why people often like to drain the tank, but I don't like dealing with that. So I just scrub it with the water that's already in it. It's almost like I have diluted the vinegar, so it makes me feel just a little bit better. And you can see this brush gets back in here really nicely. You can also get yourself an old cleaning toothbrush. You know, when you go to the dentist, they give you a bunch of toothbrushes. I just keep those on hand. Get in around in here. Once you have let that sit for just a little while, again, depending upon how bad uh, the stains are inside your tank, you're going to give it a good flush. Not only does this Miracle Cleaner clean the tank, but if you have some stuck on stains in your toilet bowl right here, you can spray it in, let it sit a little bit longer. You don't have to deal with the valves that could potentially corrode or deteriorate because of the acidity of the vinegar. I let it sit much longer here in the bowl. Now, where this really comes in handy, this Dawn here, if you have a serious clog, in your toilet. I have an entire video about how to dislodge a clog with some Dawn dish soap. I will link that in the description box below if you are interested, as well as anything else that I think would be helpful in your cleaning journey. We make cleaning fun around here, and yes, that can include the toilet. Now you may be saying to yourself, girl, energy, just get one of those tank tabs. 
that go in the back right here or a tidy bowl. Many professional plumbers will advise against those sorts of things because of the damage that it can have on the elements inside of your toilet tank right there. And also personally, I don't love having blue toilet water. I know many of you are like, blue, it's amazing, it looks wonderful. I, I like clear toilet water. Let me know in the comments box below if I'm alone in that one. Also, I'm in need of a, a new toilet seat here. If you want to keep the fun going when it comes to all things cleaning, check out these two videos right here. Also, be sure to sign up for the weekly newsletter, which is all things tips and tricks when it comes to cleaning. Give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.